Welcome back fellow cruisers. In this video we are going to show you all about HX, formerly known as Hertegruten Expeditions, as well as showing you some first hand footage of what it's like on board as our very own Amy and Chloe recently were on MS Fritjof Nansen on a trip to Antarctica. Keep watching to find out more about HX. So is it Hertegruten or HX? The Hertegruten group is now split into two brands. Hertegruten Norway and HX. Hertegruten Norway focuses on sailings around the Norwegian coast and Svalbard on board a fleet of coastal express ships that stop at various ports throughout the day and night. HX however offers both no-fly and fly expedition cruises to not only Norway but destinations including the British Isles, Antarctica, Alaska, Greenland and beyond. Built for those seeking adventure, they provide a nature-based experience with an importance that's placed on exploration and discovery. On a HX sailing, you'll be alongside like-minded passengers that are seeking to uncover more about the world around them. We had a Zodiac cruise around the Yalor Islands where we saw a colony of Gentoo penguins. And it's like, just as you imagine, it's like they're all just on this random like piece of ice, just squawking and like flapping and like jumping off into the water it was yeah it was amazing why choose hx for an expedition hx who have been pioneers in sustainable expedition travel for more than 128 years feels that discovering and studying our wonderful world need to go hand in hand on board you can expect state-of-the-art science centers a science and education program daily lectures delivered by a knowledgeable expedition team with a unique scientific skill set, comfortable accommodation. We were in a balcony cabin, which was very, very nice. The balcony was super spacious. We had two chairs and a table. We had a complimentary water bottle in our cabin waiting for us as well to refill around the ship because they don't have any sing single use plastics on board. So their, their commitment to sustainability is really quite commendable. Superb local cuisine and the Explorer Lounge and Bar, perfect for taking in panoramic views of your surroundings. They also offer exciting short excursions and flexible itineraries that enable you to seize new opportunities as they arise. With stop-offs at a selection of more remote destinations, you'll have a higher chance of encountering wildlife and to explore landscapes that are often untouched. The HX Hertegruten Expeditions Fleet In the expedition fleet, there's currently six ships, starting with MS Santa Cruz II in 2002, specializing in voyages to the Galapagos Islands, followed by MS Maud in 2003, MS Fram in 2007, MS Spitsbergen in 2009, MS Roald Amundsen in 2019, and MS Fritjof Nansen in 2020. So the design of it was amazingly thought out, I thought. Deck three was just the expedition deck where we would go to in all of our gear for our landings and our cruises. They had like an expedition room where you would go and queue up, I guess, to get out on the Zodiac. So that was all on that level, which was great. Like the layout of the pool deck and the hot tub and like the sauna, it was all really linear. Whereas on other ships, I feel like it's a bit disjointed and you have to kind of carry around all of your like swim gear and stuff so it was really nice that you could just literally head out the sauna you had a locker room right there then like head out to the pool to the jacuzzi and like nip back in and it was really easy not only are the ships named after legends of the golden age of polar exploration which seamlessly pairs with Hertegruten's pioneering nautical heritage but the expedition ships that visit destinations such as antarctica are specifically designed to withstand the colder landscapes the small size of the ships allows them to visit more unique destinations than that of larger vessels. Other sustainability initiatives that HX promotes is the banning of single-use plastics, planning activities such as beach cleaning, serving planet-friendly plant-based food, aiming to reduce food waste on board and other sustainable strategies. So what is included in a HX cruise? There's a wide range of inclusions on a HX voyage such as destination focused lectures, full board breakfast, lunch and dinner, which includes a drink, access to the science center, a reusable water bottle, Wi-Fi, access to state of the art fitness and sauna facilities. 
We then went and we had the most amazing sauna, like just looking out at the Yolor Islands. The sun was reflecting off of these icebergs and it was literally like they were glass. It was the most amazing experience. Equipment for excursions such as boots and walking poles, your very own expedition jacket, and included gratuities. However, sailings that depart from the 20th of October 2024 to Antarctica and the Galapagos Islands, in addition to the usual inclusions, will be able to benefit from even more in their cruise fare. With their new, all-inclusive sailings will include a variety of drinks throughout the day, professional onboard photos, and a summary video and faster Starlink Wi-Fi. The HX Restaurants on board their ships, you can expect one, two, or three decadent restaurants, serving both Norwegian and international fare. These restaurants offer up an array of delicious cuisine throughout the day. On board, there is the Aun restaurant for complimentary breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fredheim does an early grab-and-go breakfast for early risers and is then open from 12 to 9 every day, serving a mixture of burgers, bayo buns, pasta dishes, waffles, yakitori, crepes, and much more. Lindstrom is the restaurant for sweet guests, of which they can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. Other guests can pay a supplement for dinner for only 25 euros per person. Now here are some popular FAQs. What's the dress code on board? Of course, with any sailing, what you wear will primarily depend on the destinations that you're visiting. For example, light summer clothing on warmer itineraries and heavy warm clothing on colder sailings. However, one big benefit that comes with a Hurtigruten expedition sailing is that there is casual attire throughout the ship, throughout the day and night, allowing you to wear comfortable clothing without having to worry about packing a tuxedo or long cocktail dress. What should you pack for a voyage? Regardless of the destinations, it's important that you pick suitable footwear for both the wet and dry landings, such as hiking boots. Pack sun protection, a camera, swimwear, and sunglasses, amongst other essential items. Is Hurtigruten Expeditions a luxury cruise line? Whilst the suites on board are modern and more luxurious, they have a really relaxed atmosphere without any formalities around dress code. There's no butlers or any other luxury amenities found on other cruise lines. The experience is focused and built around the exploration and scientific discovery. Is there entertainment? On the last night in Antarctica, the crew did like their own band. So you had like the first officer on the guitar. You had a waiter that was like singing. So like they kind of mash up their own faux band. Um, so they did a bit of performance that night, which was really fun. So there you have it. A quick guide to HX to give you a feel of what it's like to experience an extraordinary sailing with them. Book your dream HX voyage today with Planet Cruise and enjoy a truly remarkable experience filled with adventure from start to finish. If you'd like to see our ship tour on board MS Fritjof Nansen, then click the video here. We have so many videos on the Planet Cruise YouTube channel, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon so you receive a notification every time we post a new video. And until next time, happy cruising.